Here is a quickie from me again. Um, I wanted to input uh, some serial numbers and stuff just for illustration purposes onto this floppy drive I'm making, just for you know for fun. Um, and I thought I was gonna use something called canvas. Canvas means painting, or like the um, it means actually the 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 white stuff you're painting on. That's actually a canvas. So I, when you make a canvas like this, you go in and you select the object you want to put in. And then you select the face, OK, and you rotate it and you put it where you want it. And you expand it as so, it's OK. And then you get this annoying red border here, and you cannot get it away. Um, <coughs> a lot of people think that this is how you put a texture onto a model. It is totally incorrect. A canvas as far as I understood from what I read online, is basically we need to use something as a basis for modeling after. That means that if I wanted to make this barcode as a model, I would just use it as a canvas like this. I can model on top of it and extrude and whatnot, and then I discard a picture. If you want to put an image, then you have to use what is called a decal. It's a totally different option here. Places an image on a selected surface or cosmetic decal. It's just a cosmetic display. So that is what you need to use because it does not have any kind of red border. So let's try that one instead. Go to insert, decal, then you select the file from the drive select the face you want it on, just like before. I want it rotated, 90 degrees. It's not in the center here, but I will just move it roughly in the center. There. That is roughly where I want it, okay. Now, another thing I see is when you when you fade it like this, it looks pretty horrible. It looks like it's trying to make a 3D effect out of the image. Go to Chain Faces and remove this. And now click, make sure opacity is set to 100% so the image shows. And voila, now it looks like that. And you have no red border and it looks exactly like it should. In case you wonder what that line is, on the original drive there is like an insert here where the sticker goes. So basically that is how you use decal and not a canvas. I have one more image I'll input just for good measure. Decal, install, this one, and face, this, and Upside down, it's pretty okay. I want it a little bit smaller. I think I want it roughly the same height as this one. Is it really that small? What I can do here is actually set OK on that one, and I go down and I take on the first one, edit, and then maybe that doesn't work. <sighs> actually, that would be nice to see if you can change the, like, get the size of the image as you have it. What could I actually, if I do this and go to surface, sketch, no, it doesn't work like that. Okay, I'll just use the old version. Uh, 
is almost right, so... There, remove the chin faces, and okay. So basically that is how my genome drive looks like in real life. That actually gave me an idea on how to make a because I need to model the pin jumper settings here. So I'm just going to take a photo of my drive and model it in. Thanks for watching.